Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video and this one's about the SIP, the full release for the SIP utility program for PC Microsoft Flight Simulator, SIP 1.0.0 and that was released fairly recently. I'll go full screen in a moment and show you that in more detail. And it streamlines the whole process, process and even improves in a couple of the backlight features of the SIP utility. Keep watching to the end because I'm going to show you how you can put that SIP program into the startup folder so you can start it up when you start your PC to make things easier for you. So let's not dilly dally. Let's get into the video. Okay, so this is how I heard about the SIP launch or the new SIP launch. So there you go, after the recent beta testing for SIP program for PC users, we're pleased to announce the release of the full version of the PC SIP software, so the full version. Uh, we're currently working with Microsoft, this last line here, to develop the SIP for Xbox users. I'm going to give you my thoughts on this later in the video, um, what challenges that, that lie ahead for them. So there's another way, I'm going to link this down below, this website down below, and this is where you can download, just scroll down a bit, it'll start you up there, scroll down until you get to here, you can download it from here, SIP Connect 1.0.0, download it, extract it to a folder on your hard drive, just a second, so I've got it on my D drive, I've got Four hard drives, <laughs> that's quite a lot. I've got a system drive which is just a small SSD that contains Windows and it's generally what I'll record videos straight onto, either that or my D drive. D drive is just a large hard drive. Actually, let me just show you this. So, open a new window. There you go, four hard drives. So I've got a sort of D drive, that's just a normal hard drive, one terabyte hard drive. That's an MVME drive. I always struggle to say that. NVMe drive, super fast hard drive A that's 500 gigabytes and I've got 250 gigabyte hard drive which I actually have my flight sim on. So basically let's go back to what I was saying that I just extracted it to my D drive which is completely separate from my system drive and my flight simulator drive so you can in it basically put it anywhere. Don't put it in your community folder in your flight simulator that may confuse things just put it on a separate drive somewhere even on your desktop if you want to on your pc when you extract it you've got to have all these dlls it also comes with a sort of a readme file there too a pdf but i'm sure you got all the dlls included and in the same folder Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to exit full screen mode and show you how we get this new SIP Connect up and running. Okay, and if by magic, outside of my PC now. Now I'm going to double run, double click the SIP Connect program. Like I said, watch to the end. I'm going to show you how you can do this on startup so you don't need to do this part. You can see you got the Turtle Beach logo running there. And sure, like I say, you've got all the DLL files in the same folder. I'm going to zoom down here. Now you can see a little black, it's difficult to see, but a little black icon just here has appeared on my desktop. And it's got a few options there. You can run, getting a bit closer for you. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, X-Plane Art Elite Dangerous. So obviously Flight Simulator 2020 we want to run. So I'm going to click on that, right click the icon again and just go connect. Now watch what happens to the SIP thing there. It'll run through, it'll go dark, run through with all green lights and then stay dark until we play or start Microsoft Flight Simulator. Let me start it up and I'll show you the next simple step. 
Okay, I've got Flight Sim running in the background there. You can actually do this on the main menu, I've noticed as well. It's still all dark on the Velocity 1. Let me just move in the camera close to, to the uh, tray, system tray here. Just get to my Velocity 1 icon, which is there. Right click and just go start. Just come back out, you can see we've got some lights happening now. We've got a parking brake light and we've got the landing gear light. You'll notice that the autopilot light no longer flashes. Things like flaps still work, so white for stage one flaps and then should be fully green when you go full flaps. So flaps stage one and two are white and then fully green. That all works. Let me just show you something else which I didn't show you on the last video. Uh, let me just get this into view for you. So it's a bit clumsy doing it this way, but you get the you get the idea. I'm just going to put my fuel dangerously low. So about eleven. That'd be eleven gallons in each one, and that's okay. Come back out. You can see we got the master caution light and the low fuel warning light. So if you're up in the air in flight sim using realistic fuel and you're flying around for a while you'll see that low fuel come up if you start to run low and if you get dangerously low you get the master caution as well does add a lot of immersion now there's still a bit of messing around with the system tray there it's not absolutely perfect and i'm going to give you my thoughts and conclusion uh, to that at the end of the video. It's not perfect one thing you don't have to do you don't have to keep doing is putting this let me just see where it is. I believe it's in settings and status panel mode. You don't have to keep resetting that. You can just keep it in the SIP mode there, the center mode. And then you don't have to keep resetting that every time you run Flight Simulator. Just leave it on there. Just do the steps I just showed you and your status indicator panel, status indicator panel will work just fine like this. Okay. So that's that part. Let me now show you how you can actually run this on startup when you start your PC. Okay, so as promised, I'm going to show you how you can run this when you start your PC or when you restart, when you first start your PC in the morning or afternoon, turn your PC on, how you can get this program in your system tray up and running. So the way to do this, just click down here on this search bar, type here to search, click in there. And hold down your Windows and R key. And type in there. I'll put this down in the description as well. Shell colon startup. So shell colon startup. Just type that in there in that box. Click open. And it'll bring up your startup box. So what programs you want to start when you start your PC. So all you can do, you could probably guess, you can highlight all these, right click and copy, and then in the startup folder, right click and paste. Now one thing here, all these programs will start up when you start your PC, so you want to get rid of that PDF file, because what will happen is, unless you want it launching, it will launch that PDF file too when you start up your PC. So I delete that one in my startup folder and I'll come out of that let's just come out of everything discord I'll just do a quick well actually I'll restart the PC because it won't finish recording obviously the recording will stop if I turn off the PC I'll restart the PC as soon as it's started up I'll hit record again and show you what happens okay I've just caught the turtle beach logo up there I've just restarted basically so this is a fresh start and you can see the turtle beach icon is now in my desktop tray there so it's ready to go so if I want to run flight simulator click on flight simulator oops click on the icon again right click and just press connect and then when flight simulator started now my SIP status indicator panel like I showed you before it's gone blank and it's just going through them all one by one in green so that's now ready to go. Start Flight Simulator and just press start there. It's pretty straightforward. Now one thing, let me just get back to Discord. Let me just launch this again. 
Hopefully it won't show you any sort of information that you shouldn't be seeing here. I don't think so. If so, I'll have to edit it, it, it out. And let's just go back to Turtle Beach simulation. It's this line here that has me a little bit concerned with Flight Simulator on Xbox. How can you do all these steps? By right clicking, choosing, I mean, maybe they'll just have it basically just for Flight Simulator here. Or how, how would you right click and go connect or start on the Xbox? There's a couple of challenges ahead for them. I do have good faith in Turtle Beach. I do believe this SIP indicator panel uh, mold will be available for xbox users soon i have contacted james i'm not sure he's been on today it's saturday at the time i'm recording this just if you can give me a heads up uh maybe james if you see this video you can comment down below of when you expect it to hit the xbox the sip function anyway chaps that's the new, and that's basically the sort of full release, full version of the PC SIP software. Let me know your thoughts below. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more, all that good stuff. And I'll see you very soon.